Hello, it's Sarah, and I wanted to come on because I decided I got a few questions about adding the um, if I were going to do the edges in black, and I love it. I love the way it looks. I like it both ways, but I decided to do this one with the black edges and see what the difference is. My preference is to put it on before the paper. This is so messy and harder to control. I've tried it a couple different ways. I use this little sponge which it, it's pretty good. It saves your hands from getting messy um, and you can kind of direct it. I think this is probably the best way to go but then you have to turn it over and do the same thing to the other edge and you get a little line on the paper see like that I just went off the edge and I just take a q-tip and kinda get that off or you can even just like blend it out type thing but I think that's the easiest and then I was using my finger too and just going down but a lot more gets on the surface so like on this side see the uh, the black is actually on the paper which that's a look you know like it's not it's not the end of the world, um, but this definitely, the sponge, this is just a, like a cosmetic sponge. You have a lot more control than with your finger. So, um, but if you can do this, if you haven't done the project yet and you want your edges black, do that before you put the papers on. So just all you have to do is paint the corner. You don't have to paint the whole thing black because you're only going to see this little edge. But it definitely saves. That's what I've always done before. I don't know why I didn't do it this time. I have no idea why. Um, I just didn't. And, you know, but it's okay. This is going to be fine. And I, I really do like it edged in black. Um, so... I'm going to work on another project today. I have a piece of wood, but see, I like it edged in black. It looks good. I'm going to do a wood piece, like a plaque, um, this right here. I gessoed it and sanded it, and I think I'm going to paint um, the background but I think I am going to do a, a similar type of collage on top. I might just do letters like welcome or something. Um, so I'm, I'm debating if I'm going to film it or just do it or what I'm going to do. Um, but I definitely think I'm going to be doing something. I did a, oh see I totally slipped off. Yeah. I did a um, art journal page yesterday, but it it was a fail. I guess I'll show you what I did. But see, I like it with the black. It definitely pops, and uh, just just do it first. It's just and just save yourself this being annoying. I didn't realize how. Um, messy it would be like I really didn't and oh this is going to be interesting doing this little section this might be easier with my finger even a magic marker you could probably even use a magic marker to do it so um, I'll show you my uh, art journal I was watching a video by Be Creative 2, I think it is. She did some doodle flowers with um, kind of like the ones <clears throat> that Cat Hand do did with her jelly prints, only they were super, super big. So that's not perfect, but you know. All right, I'm going to set that aside to dry. But I love it. I have it up on my desk, and I have tissues in it already. So it's super cute. Um, this is what I did. 
bit of black paint all over the place. It's snowing. We're not getting it as bad as um, some places, I don't think, because uh, it's already, well, it's, it's already turned to rain a couple times, so it's definitely not accumulating as much, but it's supposed to go all, all day, so we'll see. Um, I did this page. And I did the same background that I used for my uh, houses, and I it just turned out fantastic. Like that, but I'm not. I don't know what else to do to it once I do that background. But it goes from um, I put book pages behind it, and it went from dark to light to pink, and then I did the same thing with the grass, uh, dark and light. These are basically I doodled. This is what Be Creative does. I doodled these flowers on jelly prints, but I decided to do them on um, some of my deli paper because I was putting it in here and I didn't want it to be too thick. So I doodled them all up and cut them, and I did leaves too with deli paper. And then when I put them on with the gel medium, all the white, because I used my gel pen, all the white smudged off. It just came off all the white detail. Um, and it just dulled everything down. All the bright color that was on the deli paper just totally got dulled down. So I considered it a fail from that point on. Um, but I did shade around everything with my um, big brush. My, this one, the Faber Castell big brush in the brown. You just basically put it on and just smudge it with your finger. So I did that and I mean you can still see, you see the depth, you know, like the, but it's just not, it's not the bright piece that I wanted it to be. Um, but I finished it and I went back over it with uh, my Posca paint pen, my white pen. But it's not the same. It's like, ugh, I don't know. So, um, I'm still very much wanting to play with these uh, papers so because I'm just about doing clay. I'm just about to do clay again, but I think I'm going to do probably a couple more projects with these papers. I mean, I just love it. And it's a totally different look now that it's black, but you know what I could also do? Listen, I might as well while I have you here. I'm going to take some, how about, I'm going to use, this is copper. Oh man, I have to squirt it. Sometimes these, this is the Viva Inca Gold. It's, it's, it's good, but I'm going to wet it a little bit. <clears throat> they get a little dry. But I'm just going to see what that will look like if I... I like it. I didn't do much else to it. Um, I put a little bit of stickles on some of the places, like on the leaves. And I gave a couple of the things some glossy accents, like the eyes of the uh, sun. Oh, see, I like that. It's just not stark black now. Um, I put glossy accents on his beak, glossy accents on his eyes, a little bit of stickles on the, um, oh my gosh, I love it, the copper. Little stickles down each uh, of his rays about it really. I didn't put any stickles. The kids are outside. But yeah, it's really wet snow right now. Um, and I think it's supposed to switch over throughout the day, like from snow to rain. So we might not get the accumulation that some places are getting. 
which is fine by me. Um, you know, last night it sounded really stormy, like sleeping. And, uh, but we woke up to about eight inches, I would say. So, it's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount of snow. So what look like I did to the, the cat, I put a little on his eyes and his nose, the glossy accents, put a little bling necklace. I put stickles for the necklace. And I put stickles on the bee's wings. I, I glossy accented the little snail, and I put stickles in the flowers, centers. And that's about it. So I, I'm glad I didn't get too carried away with this one, with all the extra embellishing. But guess what? I really like that I did this. That it's not just stark black on top. Why? Oh, I threw them all away. Yeah, I really like that better. I don't like, uh, I like bling. I like jazzing it up with some metallic and, uh, there we go. So yeah, I got a, a question about adding the black, and guys, do it first if you can help it. Don't do it after, it's just a bigger issue. It's like a pain in the butt. So if you do it first, you won't have any issue. It's just greatness. But yeah, I like adding the copper. And I have a bunch of colors I could have used, but I don't know, I just felt like copper was the way to go today. So there we go. Ta-da! I like it a lot. I really do. I really, really like this style. So, uh, I also, um, a couple of you can't find the tissue boxes. Honestly, I, I did not get this in the mail. I got this from one of the local craft stores, definitely, but because I've painted for so many years, I can't tell you when, um, because I just get, if it was like a good price or something, I'll get it because I plan on using it and then it'll sit there forever. So, you know, just like this plaque I have, I bought these a while ago. I don't, I think AC Moore, but because I really do buy a lot of stuff at AC Moore, Michaels, Joann's, those, I have one of each within five miles of me. So I go, and then Hobby Lobby is about 30 miles. So um, I, I wouldn't say I got them at Hobby Lobby because I would remember that. But um, I love it. I do. I think it turned out great. So I have my tissue box right here. So anyway, but you can do this on anything, on a box. Um, Diane Salter does her Diana Salter. I keep calling her Diane. I think it's Diana. But she does boxes all the time or just like a chunk of wood. And then she puts um, all these other like uh, doorknobby looking embellishments on them. So should I just continue on while you're here? I think I should. Um, I'm going to do a background and I think I'm going to do it in my go-to colors. So let's grab green, blue, and pink. These three are really, I love playing with these. And just do some blending, wet on wet blending. Um, I think I'm gonna go, I can hear the kids outside. I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna squirt the surface just like I did my canvas. And then just add a little paint and see what happens. We're just going to go for it. I don't know what pink and green is going to make. Probably a mess. But guess what? We can always paint right over it. Yep. Oh, a little green got up there. Running out. So I'm going to take my big brush with water on it. Start at the top. That green got in there, which that's okay. I think I might do my roosters on here. 
Should I do that? A lot of people love this piece. So maybe I'll do something like that with my roosters. But look at this. I am loving this. Wet on wet blending is fantastic. There's a lot of green in the sky, but hey, it's kind of pretty. I kind of like it. Maybe I'll add a tiny bit more blue. I can always um, add it by floating it too. Um, after it dries. I am loving this technique. I love it. Like that is super pretty. Isn't it? I wish there just wasn't that green in the sky. Maybe a little white. Now, should I? Maybe it'll end up looking like clouds a little bit. I should probably let it dry. And you don't want it to turn into mud. But that looks pretty. Should I stop? I should stop. I really like it. I'm stopping. Look at that. I think I'm going to do my chickens. But it's, it's a very small, straight thing. I could do, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure out what I'm putting on here. Because I could just put houses too. Just put houses going across it. Um, what color should I do the edges? I'm going to have to do that. Alright, so I'll be back. So I painted the edges this blue color. Don't know why. But I want to touch up some of this on the bottom because it uh, there were gap like there were skips I can't explain um, what am I trying to say the paint didn't you can see the wood that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> so I just put down some of the uh, that green color that I did for the bottom and I'm just doing a, a flute along the bottom and that just kind of fills in the gaps and darkens it a little bit which I'm probably going to end up doing it with um, the dark dark green so I'm going to do the same thing at the top and try to bring the blue back because it got it got see there's some nice blue right there I want to bring that back and it's actually a different color than this because I'm not sure what color I'll edge it or if I'll like dry brush over it or something. I don't know. And look, I don't even have my palette paper. I'm just using my um, craft mat to load my brush. And I'm just going to try and get a little bit more of that blue up there. Does that look like it's coming? It's not real. You know what? Maybe I don't even need to side load it. It's like uh, I want to make sure the brush, the paint is really wet so it stays sheer. That's it. I added a little bit more water and then it moves better. But I don't want to lose that white. I really like that white, adding that was awesome. But yeah, it got, I just wanted to perk up the blue. I really, really love that background. That is so stinking cool. There we go. And right here. On the edges, it kind of petered out and it left wood showing. All right, that's good. 
So what are we going to do with it? What should we do with it now? That is the question. Um, I think we could end up doing a really cute chicken or rooster. I don't know if they're chickens or roosters. Something like this. I could just have more, maybe like three or four of them, right? I think so. Should I mix media in the background a little bit? I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go away and figure some stuff out. And I'll be back. So I decided to go with chickens. And we're just going to see how it goes. I chose a few different papers that I liked that kind of had the pink, the blue, eh, you know, I liked them, put it that way. Um, this one, this is a fave of mine. I think it's, you know, very similar to something that we used back in this one, but I'm just going to flip it over and draw these little guys on here. I'm going to do three in this paper, I think. Uh, so let me just start sketching it out. I like when their heads are kind of forward a little. They can have a little bit thicker heads. And it's kind of like my birdie, only he's like a taller. I don't want him that, like that. And then I'm going to paint on the tail feathers. So you got to figure he's going to have that. He's going to have a waddle. And I'll give him his wing. And I'll have tail feathers. So I like that shape. That's kind of a cool shape. I'm going to have one facing the other way. So let's go with maybe a little shorter. like that, I like that, and the waddle, so that's two, well is that, yeah, I mean I was trying to use up this whole paper, uh, I'm going to go with another one in the same uh, shape, this way, Maybe a little smaller body like that. But that's basically it. So they look different. I like that this is, well, he's kind of got a pot belly. I'll probably straighten him out this way. I don't want that part. <clears throat> so like that and I'm going to cut those out. I like how he's leaning forward and how he's leaning forward. Um, I like the thickness of the body. Like they're all different. So that's three of those. And then I need a couple more. What other... Let me zoom back out a little so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use like three of them and then I kind of want to do red, but it's not really, there's no red. How about we just go with blue? Blue or, uh, I think the blue is good. Orange, look at that. I'm going to do the flowers, like some type of flowers in orange. This is pretty. I think this one. One of these. I think this one. Alright, so I'm going to do these. I want to do these a little taller, I think. 
so like up to here at least. Um, yeah, so I'll go away and cut all them out and I'll be right back. All right, I have four chickens on here and I, I made like six of them and I had them all lined up and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to fit their tails or anything. So I have their tails drawn on. I put some flowers and a sun in the middle. And I kind of like it. I think it's cute for just a piece of wood that was sitting around. So I also did black around the edge a little bit too. So um, right now I've just kind of drawn on their waddles and their... I forget what this thing's called. The other the thing that goes on top. I think the waddle is the little part that hangs underneath their beak, but uh, I am going to paint them on, and I'm using just like a mix of red and candy bar brown because I didn't want it too bright, but it's not, it's turning out bright anyway. Uh, and I couldn't really, I don't really know the difference between a rooster and a chicken. Well, I know the difference. But I don't know like if they have if they both have waddles or if they only the rooster has waddles. But all of my chickens have waddles and maybe they're all roosters. And but I don't know if they're supposed to be like that because uh, usually there's only one rooster, right? And it's a bunch of hens in nature. But you know, again, this is whimsy, so I don't know. I just like it. I think it's cute. So I'm going to be painting on their tails as well. I'll probably paint a blue tail on this blue guy. And on this one, it'll probably be a mixture of... I might just paint mix it, like blue and green mixed or something. Um, and I'm going to shade it the way I shaded the tissue box and all that stuff. So I'll come back when it's done. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right, it's all done. And I mean, I like it. It's cute. I don't know if it's everything it should be. Like, if I should be doing more to it. I had punched a couple butterflies out, but I don't know. And then on this one, I noticed I did put sun rays. And I could probably put that too. Um, all I did was exactly what... I've been doing glued everything down for the wings I just drew them on and then shaded around them and highlighted inside um, I painted on the leaves and so I mean it's basically I shaded around everything like I did on the um, tissue box and I think it's cute I do I think it turned out cute I don't know what, I like that my background is showing, like the green, the pink, and the blue, and um, I mean, I could darken it around the edges, but I think it looks good. All right, you guys, and it's time for dinner, so that was like a perfect little, little project for today. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.